All right, hey guys, this is Mr. Zare here at Landrum Middle School, and uh, we're gonna take a look at uh, using the ultrasonic sensor on the LEGO Mindstorms EV3 robotic system. Uh, before we do any of that, I wanna remind you guys, make sure that you always use your brain and think things through, all right? It makes life a whole lot easier. So, uh, we're taking a look at the ultrasonic sensor, and before we actually start, uh, maybe I need to explain exactly what the ultrasonic sensor does. Uh, basically, it sends out a sound that we can't hear. It's ultrasonic, so the frequency is higher than human hearing. And what that sound goes forward and it bounces off whatever the nearest object is. And once it bounces off, it comes back towards the ultrasonic sensor and it basically calculates the time that it takes for the sound to travel and with that calculation it's able to figure out the distance that the ultrasonic sensor is from whatever object the sound struck. So this is like echolocation, you know, like how a bat will navigate its way through the night and be able to uh, find mosquitoes and other bugs to, to eat. So first thing that we want to do, we've got our programming window open. And since my project is going to be solely based on the ultrasonic sensor, first thing I want to do is go ahead and save my project. So I'm going to go to File, Save Project As. I'm going to save this to my desktop. And I'm going to call this Ultrasonic Sensor uh, Project. All right, because I think that that should work. That seems to make a lot of sense here. All right, so that's going to be the name of my project. All right, and so we're going to maybe write more than one program, so I'll save the name of the program until I've actually written the program itself. All right, so we're going to start off with our block, our start block. That's already there. That's almost always there. And uh, let's just do this. Let's say I want my robot to drive forward until it comes in contact with another object, say a book or a piece of wood, something solid that it might run into, but I don't actually want it to run into it. I want it to stop at a specific distance from this object. So if I want my program to start by the robot moving forward, I'm simply going to go to my action blocks and I'm going to choose move steering and I'm just going to simply say on, forward, and we're just going to leave it at half speed, that's fine. The ports are B and C, which is correct, so there's no problem there. So as soon as this program starts, it's going to be driving forward. Now, what's going to make it stop? Well, that's going to be the ultrasonic sensor itself. So I'm going to go to my flow control, and the ultrasonic sensor uh, information is going to be in the weight block. So I'm going to drag and drop the weight block, and I'm going to change this from time to ultrasonic sensor. Now, we are stuck with the same two options as before. We have compare and we have change. So let's just take a look at compare and change and figure out what this is all about. So compare is going to be, we can figure out the distance in centimeters, the distance in inches, and we can also just read the distance, that's presence or listen. That would be to collect data for uh, you know, a data algorithm that we're not worried about right now. So this basically just will do something based on the distance that it reads. And then we have change, and when it comes to change, what this would mean is anytime we use change, we are basically worried about not where it starts, but we are worried about the range of motion. So if we want the robot to move a total of five inches, no matter where it's located, it will move five inches and then it will stop because it will read the distance from another object and it'll realize, hey, I just moved five inches. But with compare, what it will do is it will compare the distance that the robot is to a fixed object. And once it reaches that exact distance that we're looking for, then it will stop or do whatever action that we're looking for. So I'm only going to look at the inches one because we live in the United States and we use the standard system. If you're more comfortable measuring in centimeters or in the metric system, you can use that, but we're going to stick with inches, uh, typically because even our game mats for the EcoBot Challenge, each one of those blocks is one inch on the game mat. So I'm going to select this one. All right, and so let's see what the options are here. I've got ultrasonic sensor compare distance inches. 
my next option is it looks like it's a greater than less than equal to type of situation if I click on it I can see that I have a couple different options I have equal to I have not equal to I have greater than greater than or equal to I have less than and then I have less than equal to so let's just say I want this to stop once the distance is equal to or less than so less than or equal to and I'm gonna say that I want my robot to stop at um, let's just say six inches so I'm gonna type in six inches so once my robot is six inches away from whatever the object is that I place in front of it I want it to stop okay so I'm gonna double check because right now I have port 4 as my option and I want to make sure that on my robot port 4 is what I'm gonna be using for my ultrasonic sensor and that is correct so I have a forward and then it's gonna wait until we have the robot six inches from an object and what do I want to have happen next well I want it to stop so I'm gonna drag drop and I want this to turn off and that will be the end of my program so let's just rename this program here uh, stop at six inches okay and let's download it and see how it behaves okay so I've got my program downloaded to my robot and uh, I want to point out a couple of things before we get started number one this is the basic robot and based on this basic robot if I have this part in front of this it is always going to read that there is a problem here because that echolocation or that ultrasonic sound is going to bounce off of this so I want to slide that up I don't want anything in its way the next thing that I want to point out is we have this surface kind of looks like eyes but this actually is measuring from this top line. My finger's a little fat to get in there, but it's this top line on top of the ultrasonic sensor. That is the measuring point. So it's not the front of it, it's this top line right here, okay? So once that top line is less than or equal to six inches away from that box, this technically should stop. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tab over to my projects and I'm going to look for my ultrasonic sensor project folder and I'm going to open that up and I named it stop at six inches so I'm going to line this up I'm going to press run and let's see if it stops at six inches okay so we got exactly what we were looking for now of course I could take a ruler and measure it to make sure it's exactly right you know, maybe sometimes things get a little bit off if I didn't set it for break or didn't set it for, uh, if I didn't set it to break and I left it for coast, it may give us a little bit more distance than we were looking for. Now, let's take this robot and see what else we can do with uh, the ultrasonic sensor. Okay, so that last program, it worked exactly as we expected, so no problem there. And what we did was we used the ultrasonic compare option. So that one's pretty self-explanatory. You just have to figure out. You have to figure out. Do you want to use uh, centimeters or inches? And then you have to have to figure out. Do you want it to be equal, not equal, greater than, less than, equal to, less than, uh, equal to and less than, and greater than, less than. Those are all issues that you have to figure out what's going to be best for you. So this is specific for an absolute value. Now let's use the change system and see how that works so I'm gonna create a new program okay starting with the programming block and in this case what I want it to do is I want it to figure out I want the robot to figure out how far it is from the box by itself and then I want it to stop once it has reversed itself six inches Okay, so I could start the robot from pretty much anywhere, but I want it to figure out once it's moved six inches back, then I want it to stop. And by the way, one thing that you can do is while you are taking a look at this, uh, we can take a look at over here in the port view, we can see distances that are available to us because if you look down here in the bottom right hand corner, 
I have the ultrasonic sensor and right now it's 4.6 inches from the cable that's sitting in front of it but if I put my hand in front of it you can see that the number is changing all right so this is one way that you can figure out distances if you are just sitting there with your computer so what I want to do is I want it to begin moving backward okay so I'm gonna make it on and I'm going to make it go in reverse okay uh, so we're gonna just go ahead and change the speed to a negative let's just say negative 50 is fine so my arrow has gone down I don't want it to turn my ports are correct B and C now this time I'm going to use the change option so I'm going to go ultrasonic sensor and I'm going to use change and change in distance or inches and so what we have here is some slightly different options here I can say okay if I want an increase then I have that if I want to decrease then I have that option and if I want any change at all then I have that option okay so if we want the number to go up we want to use increase if we want the number to go down we can use number one and if we want any type of change at all we can use the number two in this case I want it to back away so the distance should increase so I'm gonna choose increase and I want the distance to change by uh, let's just say four inches all right so I'm gonna do that and once that happens I want the robot to stop so I'm gonna add in my stop block for my robot and everything should be correct my ports are correct technically all of this should work exactly as I've planned it so I'm gonna go and download it and let's test to see if this works actually before I do that let me change the name so I'm gonna say change of four inches is gonna be the name of my program now I'm ready to download it let's see how it works okay so we're back with the robot and again I want to make sure that nothing is obstructing the view of the ultrasonic sensor it doesn't actually see anything it hears things I'm gonna find my project which is called the ultrasonic sensor project and I'm gonna look for a change of four inches and that's what I'm going to run so what I'm gonna start off doing is just simply placing this here and what it should do is go in reverse until it has moved four inches back from its starting point so I'm going to press run and let's see what happens. There we go. Okay. Nothing super spectacular. If I run it again, it should do the exact same thing, except it's starting off further away. But it should only move four inches. And it does exactly the same thing. So this type of system, when we look at change, it doesn't matter where it starts. We're just looking for the overall range of change and that's what's going to determine what will happen. Okay, so we've taken a look at two different programs that function a little bit differently uh, using the ultrasonic sensor. We first started with an absolute value knowing if it's six inches away we want it to stop and it would be six inches from whatever the object was and that was our compare option and then we went to the change option which it doesn't matter where it starts it just matters how much it moves from an object okay so those are two different ways to use this and of course I'm just touching the the very bare minimum to explain how this works the rest of it you guys have to do some little trial and error to figure out how things can function for you and there's many different uses for the ultrasonic sensor you just have to be aware don't keep things blocking it so it won't work correctly so with that said I want to remind you guys make sure that you're always using your brain make sure you think things through and always do the right thing it just makes everybody's life a whole lot easier you guys take it easy.